Well, this construction site off Dover Point Road is active, but it is where human bones were found, including remnants of a jaw and part of a skull. But police are now telling us that they believe these bones are not contemporary and that this is likely more a history than a criminal case, but they want to make sure. Dover police on scene at the future site of a 55 plus retirement community alongside an expert looking over bones discovered by construction workers, a partial jaw and partial skull along with other fragments found in a load of sand dropped there on Tuesday. A worker at the site who wishes to remain anonymous describing it as both surprising and a little creepy. We find bones all the time but it's usually you know animal bones things like that, places where people carry cows, horses. Police confirm that the sand that held the bones originated from a pit off Mast Road, an area in that pit marked off with police tape and searched for any other remains. We have to figure out sort of how old these bones are, work with the Office of the Chief Medical Examiner to determine anything else the bones can tell us about age of the person, gender of the person, et cetera, et cetera. Tonight, they say the investigation is leaning towards the historical as opposed to the criminal. Obviously, European settlement in the city of Dover goes back to the 1620s. And even before that, obviously, the native population lived here for thousands and thousands of years. Now, I'm not suggesting these bones are that old, but what I'm saying is we have to understand that there's been people living here for a long time, and we don't really have a good indication at this moment how old these bones are. Whether or not an investigation will identify the individual isn't certain, but could certainly answer lots of questions. No, definitely, definitely weird. A little, a little creepy, like I said. Police say this kind of discovery is not unprecedented in New Hampshire, given our very long history, but it's also not something that happens on a regular basis. Reporting live in Dover, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.